This is a video tutorial about Midas NFX. I will show you how to do a response spectrum analysis on a steel brace frame. So here you have your model inside the analysis mode of Midas NFX. First thing, I will just hide all labels, all guiders, because uh, I cannot see very well my model. Now, the, the first thing I have to do is to uh, assign some constraints to this model. So I will create some boundary condition. I can give a name to it. And I just have to select the nodes where uh, I want to apply my uh, constraint. So six nodes and then fix fix it. Uh, now first thing I will do is to do a model analysis on this model. So I'll, I will create an analysis case. Uh, I do that in fact to obtain the eigenvalues. So go in the subcase control panel and uh, enter 50 for the number of nodes. OK. Then just uh, launch the analysis. OK. So now you have all uh, your results from all the model uh, characteristics here and uh, if you double click on eigenvalues you will you will be able to see uh, all the eigenvalues of your models uh, all the modes the eigenvalues which correspond to these modes and uh, a lot of other uh, parameters Now, if you look in this table, uh, we will be able to see in which mode and each uh, and which translation we have the mode uh, deformation. So here you see uh, for the T2 translation we have the mode deformation for the first mode, and uh, for the T1 uh, translation deformation is the biggest for the mode number three. Now what I will do is I will add, I will modify this model in order to do my spectrum analysis. So I will right click on function and select the model damping function. Uh, I will call it 2% damping. Okay. Uh, and I will just use a constant function. 0 0.02 uh, OK Now I will create my response spectrum function so for that I right click on function and here you have response spectrum function click on add and in this window you have first to click on the design spectrum now choose the type of design spectrum you want to use. So let's use the Euro code. Type 1. And for the soil factor, uh, 1.2, uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.5, and 2. OK. Um, and for the max period, I will enter 6 seconds. Then you click on OK and you have your spectrum function which is automatically added. Now I just click on OK and uh, now let's create our response spectrum uh, load. So I click on response spectrum in the dynamic transient heat and CFD analysis uh, menu. Um, first, select the direction in which you want to apply 
uh, your global response spectrum load. Select the spectrum function you just created. Uh, enter a name. Click on Add and click on OK. Now I created one load in the X direction. Do it again to create it uh, in the Y direction. OK. Now the next step uh, will be to create an analysis case general and select response spectrum RS, RS okay and now you will have to create a second subcase uh, so the first subcase uh, will be called uh, X spectrum and the second subcase uh, Y spectrum Sorry. Now assign all the loads to the two subcase and for the sub subcase drag and drop the Y load here to unactivate it and here uh, the X load. Now click on uh, Spectrum X subcase control and uh, here you can choose the model combination type you want to use. Uh, go into general and uh, enter 50 for the number of modes. Okay. Do the same for the Y spectrum. General 50. Okay. Now click on analysis control and select check the function model damping function and here you have to choose the function I created 2% damping and just click on OK. Now you can run your analysis so click on perform OK and you can view your response spectrum directly here. So you can view the animation on your frame. So this is uh, the response for the Y direction. You can view uh, the results for the forces, uh, actual for the bending moment inside your uh, frame, the B actual force in the bars, and for the Y spectrum, uh, so this is the total displacement, and the same you can view the actual force 